right now, let's do some shout outs for those who have contributed on the pre stream or even before. Okay. Hold on a second here. <clears throat> so, scrolling all the way down, last night, it looks like Vera actually did a 10 bit cheer after the stream ended. Thank you, Vera, for a 10 bit cheer. Game Master 2003 is dead, did a 15 bit cheer overnight. Jack Spartacus did a 100 bit cheer overnight. And Ornites did a 10 bit cheer and says, Why did you not go to TwitchCon? Well, I have two honest answers. All right. The first honest answer is because I didn't even know it happened. I, I know that they have a convention, Twitch. But I, I don't pay attention to this stuff. I really don't. So I didn't even know when it was or where. I don't even know where it is. I honestly have no idea where it is. I'm assuming California. I could be completely wrong. I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't know where the event is. That's number one. I'm so busy with my work and everything that I don't really pay attention to that kind of stuff. Number two, ladies and gentlemen, this is the busiest time of the year for me. For me to take days away from working. Especially during the time of year when there's this many new AAA releases. To go to a convention would be counterproductive. Right now, my playthroughs on YouTube are getting more attention than they have all year. Right now, the streams are going well. Everything's going good. I can't take time away to attend a convention. It's that simple. It's one, it's one thing for me to, you know, maybe do one special stream to promote extensions. That's one thing. It's another thing to take an entire weekend away from doing my job. To attend a convention. <laughs> so, on honestly, I mean, this is my honest opinion. And obviously, you know, everyone has a, a, the ability to disagree with me. I think that this is the worst time of the year to do a convention. Because for those who are gamers like me who cover new game releases, to take time away from doing that to go to a convention is counterproductive. Um, so I honestly think that the, tw the convention should be another time of year. That's my opinion. Um, much like... Uh, MAGFest, a convention that I used to, uh, that I attended twice before, usually has it around New Year's, and I disagree with that too. I think that it should be a different time of year because having it paired in with a holiday when a lot of people have stuff already going on also is a bad idea. But hey, that's just my opinion. And you can disagree, it's fine if you do. And Enzio says, he took a week off not too long ago. Well, first of all, it wasn't a week. It was a few days. Second of all, it was during a time when there were no new releases, which is my point. This weekend, which is TwitchCon's going on right now, you're in the midst of South Park, you're in the midst of the Fracture, or, or excuse me, uh, The Evil Within, you're in the midst of Shadow of War, there were episodic games that came out this week, there's a ton of new releases that came out, the Gran Turismo came out this week, WWE came out this week. It's a huge new release week, and now the, the convention's this weekend. You know, that's why I, I disagree with the timing. Um... For me, if I were to attend TwitchCon, it would have to be during a much slower time of the year. But of course, this year in particular, folks, let's be honest here. You guys know my situation financially. Things have been not too good. So honestly, even if the convention were a different weekend this year, I still wouldn't be able to attend because I just don't have money to travel. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, shout out to Boz2161, who did a 650-bit cheer, which makes him the cheerleader for the stream. He says, TwitchCon Interactive Stream Hype. That's right. I hope that those of you who can will join me on Sunday for the special stream. Pretty big opportunity for me. <sighs> Shout out to the frog in my throat who did a 10-bit cheer and says, This cheer is brought to you by Motivation. Motivation creates effort. Shout out to Yolo Dopper who did a 10-bit cheer. And he says, Why did they make it that you have to grind so much? I assume he's talking about Shadow of War. Um, if it is true that you have to grind that much at the end of the game, it's probably because they... We're trying to get you to buy loot boxes. And I would have to say, honestly, considering that there hasn't been much of a grind in the main story of the game, that it was probably something that was done by the developer. Not the developer, excuse me, by the publisher is what I meant to say. More than likely, the game was done, and then the, the, the publisher stepped in and said, we want to sell loot boxes, so you guys have to put something at the end of the game to grind so people will be convinced to buy loot boxes. And then they changed the game. That would be my guess. Because if you haven't noticed, the playthrough I've done has little to no grinding. It's been very streamlined, very fast-paced, a lot of stuff going on constantly, and really very little grinding gameplay. So it seems to me if this really is this giant grindy part at the end of the game, it was the publisher's fault. So you gotta blame WB Games. <clears throat> Shout out to Hunting Owl Games, who did a 10-bit cheer. He says, I got a message from an idiot asking me to send you bits to insult you. <laughs> he says, what a dick. Yeah, people are stupid. What else can I say? These fucking idiots, you know. There's so many people 
who want to, you know, go out of their way to waste their time and their life to annoy others. Now, the best part is that not only are you a bad troll, but then if you're the worst kind of troll, if you won't even do the cheer yourself to troll, you're begging other people to cheer with bits to troll on your behalf. That's like the lowest level of troll. <laughs> you're so pathetic. You can't even do it yourself. Wow. Holy crap, man. That's that's pretty funny. The low absolute lowest level of troll. So. All 